What's up, guys? It's Friday, so you know what time it is. It's time for What the Fitness. And this week, we have a return guest. No, it's not Mark Hyman. No, it's not Dave Asprey. No, it is not Ben Azadi. We have Paul Saldino back on. So after talking about children's taints, I could not help but have other people send me more videos. And as much as I did not want to do another video on Paul Saladino, I kind of have to. All right, is protein powder BS? I feel like Paul just walks down the supermarket and is like, is this BS? Is this BS? Or Brussels sprouts BS? Is this BS? Find a different shtick, bro. And like BS, like what? They don't exist or people think they're healthy, but they're not. I guess that's probably what he's getting at. Is protein powder BS? Protein powder, bullshit or not? Listen guys, why would you eat or drink a protein powder? Great question. Some people have difficulty getting enough protein in. Now, not all of us will eat raw bull testicles, Paul. For some of us, a protein batter can be a convenient source of high quality protein. You don't need it, but it is a nice, convenient, low calorie, high quality source of protein. That is highly processed. Oh no, processed. Do you realize anything done to food is considered processing? Like just because it's processed doesn't mean it's bad. People have this association with, oh, processing is bad. Because we talk about things like ultra processed foods and its association with disease and all this kind of stuff. It's because highly processed or ultra processed foods tend to have a lot more calories. That's why it's associated with disease. They've shown that if you switch people to ultra processed foods, they spontaneously increase their intake. I don't know if I'd consider protein powder something that's gonna increase people's calorie intake. I mean, maybe, but there's no evidence to support that. Oh no, it's processed. Who cares? Like if you heat something, it's considered processing it. It's just ridiculous argument. That's anyway. At extremely high temperatures, that is going to degrade so many of the vital nutrients in your- Which nutrients, Paul? Which nutrients is that heat degrading? I think, Paul, you are confusing protein denaturation with degradation. Either one really doesn't matter because protein degradation is just talking about the breakdown of protein into its constituent of amino acids. Protein denaturation talks about the unfolding of the 3D conformational structure of a protein, both of which happen during digestion anyway. Your body does this anyway. In fact, cooking protein actually tends to make it more digestible, not less. So this whole Oh no, it's treated at high temperatures. Who freaking cares? If anything, it makes it more digestible. Your food to make a beef, whey, or soy protein isolate when you could just eat real food with all those- What's, what's real food? Okay, apparently the only food Paul thinks is real because apparently Brussels sprouts are BS and broccoli's BS is some kind of animal genitals is apparently what he thinks is real food. Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm all for, you know, eating intact food sources. That's great. This is like almost an appeal to, I'm better than you because I eat these intact sources of food. Like, dude, who gives a crap? There are so many more things to worry about in the world than protein powder. My God, of all the things to pick out is like, this is what's wrong with the planet. Protein powder? Really, dude? Meanwhile, this guy sells isolated beef liver tablets and whatnot and is going on about processing. What do you think has to happen for those liver tablets to be formulated. Do you think they just like jump out of the cow's liver? That's not what happens. They go through this process called processing. Oh, but, but that's okay because it's the processing that puts money in Paul's wallet. All those vital nutrients, cofactors, vitamins, peptides that are really going to allow you to thrive. So many of you say, Paul, I can't get that much protein in my diet. I'm too full. Well, I got news for you. That's because you're eating too much bullshit. No, protein is very satiating and some people have difficulty eating enough protein depending on their goals for like muscle building and whatnot. Too much pasta, too many vegetables. Oh yeah, God, heaven forbid people eat vegetables. Yeah, that's why people are unhealthy, Paul, because they eat too many vegetables. Like they're too full. Paul really has some weird ways to make his argument because they're actually like contrary. So he claims that a carnivore diet can make you feel better and lose weight, but then he's saying it makes you too full. Like, uh, which, which one is it, Paul? Stop eating those bull foods, focus on real meat and organs, like testicles, and then you will truly thrive and you'll be able to get plenty of protein in your diet from real food. Whey protein, soy protein, beef protein isolate, they're Here's carnivore MD's protein. Let me show you guys how I do this. I got the real thing right here. Wow. That's Raw the meat. only ingredient. Two ingredients, meat and no bull Except you sell beef liver tablets that have been processed. Okay. This is not unusual for Paul. I mean, this is the same guy who has a video titled Epidemiology is Bullshit. 
then goes on to cite epidemiological studies that support his argument. So which one is it, Paul? Is it bullshit? Is it not bullshit? So Paul has this habit of invoking certain lines of evidence when it fits his bias and then completely discarding it when it no longer fits his bias. I'm sorry, Paul. Protein powder isn't bullshit. Your videos are bullshit. All right, guys. Hope you liked the video. Click like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, follow the algorithm. Catch you next week.